Greetings, true believers. It's your old pal Spider-Man. Good morning, Kondry. Happy Saturday to you all. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a video, um, but we got to the end of our uh, A to Z shaves. Today is the last one we're doing, and it's for Z or Z, depending on where you live in the world. Um, for today's shave, um, I'm going with Oz Shaving Company, Yellow Brick. Um, really, really nice scent. Um, I just, I, I find it hard to describe. Um, I know it's, <clears throat> it's only got like a couple of notes in it. it it's just really good. Um, it's, it's a very light, uh, clean scent. Um, really, really like it. Um, but uh, Oz, uh, obviously it's got the uh, Oz logo with the Z. Nice and prevalent on the uh, prevalent, prevalent, not prevalent, prevalent. Uh, prevalent right on the uh, label there. And also, I'm um, going to go ahead and start lathering this up using my Paladin Jack 20, no, I think this is a 30 millimeter big brush. Uh, anyways, um, maybe a lot of people don't realize where the name Oz came from, from the Wizard of Oz. Um, when, this is the story I heard at least, um, pretty sure it's true that when uh, L. Frank Baum was writing the stories, um, he was looking for a name uh, for the place, and I guess was looking around his office and spotted his um, filing cabinet, which had two drawers. One was marked A through N, one was marked O through Z. O through Z turned into Oz, turned into what we know as the Wizard of Oz. So the Z in Oz really, for my shave, totally does mean the end. Uh, so I just thought that was kind of interesting. Um, did a little bit of science today. Um, we've been having a discussion, and I forgot to turn my light on. There we go. That's a little bit better. Uh, we've been having a discussion on uh, soaking your brushes, specifically badger brushes. And um, is it necessary? How long do you need to soak them for? Do badger brushes even actually um, absorb water? Or is it just that they hold on to water in between the spaces like capillary action and whatnot? Um, I, I didn't even know this was a debate until recently, apparently, because I thought it was always common knowledge and what has always been talked about on the forums that um, badger brushes and boar brushes both absorbed water. Badger brushes absorbed water quicker, so they didn't need to be um, soaked as long as boar brushes. Um, I think most people in general soak both of them regardless of whether they need to be or not. Um, you know, if I'm in a hurry um, and I haven't pre-soaked anything, I'm just going to grab a synthetic because they don't need to be soaked at all. I'll just run them under the water and they're good to go. Um, Boar brushes do definitely need a longer time. Um, I usually go at least two minutes, but usually if I'm going to soak a brush anyways, uh, I'm going to soak it while I'm in the shower. So it has plenty of time to soak. Um, if I forget and I'm using a badger, um, I'll just go ahead and let it soak while I'm getting everything else ready. And it may not be a full two minutes, um, but it's usually good to go. Um, I usually, uh, my rule of thumb is probably at least 30 seconds for a badger brush to soak. Um, Cause I've tried just wetting a badger brush and going um, like I would with a synthetic and it just doesn't work the same. Um, and if it was, if the hairs didn't absorb any water, it wouldn't make a difference. You could just wet it and go, but, um, you really just need to get them soaked for them to work optimally. And therefore, like I never, I never questioned whether or not badger brushes actually soaked in the water or not. I think it's also pretty commonly assumed that just about all 
uh, mammalian hair absorbs a little bit of water, definitely some more than others. Um, you know, some more aquatic animals, um, their fur may repel water a bit more just because they are in the water more of the time, like, you know, beavers and otters and whatnot. Um, but I mean, if you, when you wet your hair, I'm sure everybody would recognize the fact that when you take a shower, your hair is just not holding on to the water in between the strands. Like you are actually, your hair is absorbing water. Um, you know, the cuticle structure of your, of your hair is kind of like a picture, like a pine cone and, um, everything is, is all up tight. It's layers upon layers of what looks like scales under a microscope. Um, and then as it absorbs water, they come out like this and they hold water in between those layers, in between those like scales. Um, so the longer it sits in the water, the more those spread out and the more they can hold onto and absorb that water in between the individual cells of the hair. Um, that's just how it works. And uh, uh, there's a recent thread where some people have been saying that no, badgers do not absorb water and I've been trying to go through uh, scientific literature and um, Google Scholar and documents to try to find something that would definitively say, because I swear, way back in the day, I did read something, but I think it's something that somebody probably posted a link to, and I'm just having a hard time finding it. Um, so I don't have anything concrete scientifically uh, to prove one way or other. Anyways, Nurse Dave, um, I woke up this morning and he commented, hey, how about if somebody just takes a brush and weighs it on their scale and tests out the theory. So that's what I did. I took two of my brushes, I weighed them dry, then I put them in a bowl of water for about 10 seconds. Um, I smashed it down to make sure all the air bubbles came out so there was no air being trapped in between the bristles. Um, so I smashed it until all the air bubbles came out and it was in there for probably just under 10 seconds. Um, which if the brush is holding onto water just through capillary action would be well sufficient. I smooshed out all the air bubbles, so it was going to be maximally saturated at that point. Um, then I shook <clears throat> my brush out, which is what I typically do after a shave, until no more water was coming out. So any loose bits of water that the capillary action wasn't strong enough to hold against, we're going to come flying out. And what I found was that I, I did this on two brushes. I don't remember if I said that or not. Two brushes just to uh, have a little bit of repeatability. Um, and um, both brushes were holding on to two grams of water. Now my scale is only um, accurate to the whole gram, not partial gram. So, um, there's some rounding error in there. Um, but two grams was showing difference, um, as opposed to dry weight. Then I put the brushes back in the bowl of water, fully submerged, um, at least up to here. I didn't fully submerge the brush, but I submerged the bristles up to here. Um, and let them soak while I took my shower. Um, so probably 10 minutes or so, I guess maybe by the time I got it out of the water, it'd been maybe 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. But long enough to give the bristles plenty of time to absorb any water they were going to absorb. Um, again, shook them out to the same standard I did before, which is 
um, shaking it until no more water was coming out. And again, this is like one, two, three, four, five, four or five um, shakes is plenty uh, to get that to the point where there's no more water coming out. So um, if the bristles were not absorbing water, it should weigh the same. If the bristles are absorbing water, it should weigh more. And <clears throat> both of my brushes um, had in fact absorbed and were holding onto three grams more of water. So that was my little science experiment to help give a little bit of proof and credence to the idea that badger brushes do in fact absorb water. Um, so if you're not on the cadre and you want to see those pictures and uh, read on the discussion, come check us out. www.shavingcadre.com um, And I'll have pictures of the brushes with the scales uh, just to show everybody what I was doing. Just getting a little bit of touch up here. So I just got my kids yesterday. Um, this will be my second time of getting them during the summer for two weeks. So we got some uh, small trips, uh, partially planned some things we're gonna do, but probably no big trips. Maybe save that up for next year or something. Uh, but I do have some friends coming over. Um, later today, I'm going to have a uh, kind of a late 4th of July. Um, he lives in the city, the city of Nobnoster. And uh, in the city, you can't do fireworks. Um, and I guess... He's got some neighbors that would complain, so if he did do them, you know, some people don't care and aren't gonna call the cops on you, but uh, if you got some sensitive neighbors or something and you're doing something that you're not supposed to, they might call the cops on you and have them tell you to cut it out. Um, anyways, I live out in the country, so I don't, there's no rules out here, you can do whatever you want. Um, and so he wanted to, uh, come out and do some stuff with his kids. Um, so I said, yeah, come on out. So I was busy last weekend, so even though we're a couple weeks out from the fourth, he's still gonna come out and uh, just do some, you know, just ground stuff, like small smoke bombs, sparklers, just things that little kids like, which is what he's got. Um, so we got that going on. And I need some witch hazel. So looking forward to that. It's been a little while since my kids have seen his kids, so it'll be fun. And finishing up today with, again, Oz Shaving Company, Yellow Brick Aftershave. Again, just a really, really nice clean scent. I just, I love it. Probably one of my favorite scents from Oz. Um, I really like um, Yellow Brick, I like Tornadic, I like Woodsman. Um, big fan of their winter um, seasonal scent. Um, just really, really good. I, it's, um, you know, it's not the best, it, like it's not an elite level soap, um, but this is really good, like upper tier one, for me at least. Um, I really like the lather that I get from this soap. It's nice and thick, it's slick, um, just does everything that I want a soap to do. Um, so, and, and it's local, it's uh, made over across the border into, into Kansas, which is why he's got the theme of the Wizard of Oz. So everything uh, is Wizard of Oz themed, and again, not just the one movie that 
I think we've all seen. Um, if you haven't seen The Wizard of Oz, then crawl out from under your rock and go watch it. Um, but the Wizard of Oz movie is based on one book in a series of like a dozen books or so. So um, he's borrowed from the books for a lot of the, the character ideas and the, the soap themes and stuff like that. Um, so Ian's a really good guy. I've met him a couple times. Um, he makes makes brushes, makes soaps, aftershaves, just really good product. Um, go check him out. And um, we'll see you guys later on the forums. Check out uh, the pictures of the, uh, the brushes if you want to go check those out. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.